This is Headline News, a CNN network. A new video game is set to hit the CD-ROM market next week. It's designed to entertain and empower subliminally. Mark Jones explains. This is, my, this is me. This is my light body. That represents me. And I'm moving it around on the unified field, which to us is a metaphor for life. The game is Endorphin, kind of a Rubik's Cube Tetris theme park. It's really 42 games in one, with over 1,000 skill levels. Endorphin is said to be the talk of Europe, not just for its original music and mesmerizing play, but for its hidden subliminal messages buried in the soundtrack. I am healthy. I am loved. Every time it changes to a different piece of music, as it does at every level, you get different subliminals. And we realize that perhaps there's an opportunity here to do just more than create a game, a, a piece of entertainment to create something that could actually empower people, help people, change the world. Endorphin goes on the U.S. market Tuesday, October 17th. 42 games and 100 subliminal messages. The difference between Endorphin and, and any, any, any other game or any other entertainment product is that you know what the messages are. Correspondent John Blackstone shows you what we have in mind for tonight's Eye on America. Though the subliminals are hidden, Endorphin doesn't hide the fact they're there. It's one of the game's selling points. You play more, you feel better. It's part of a new wave of subliminals that comes as computers and digital technology have advanced techniques for hiding sounds and images. There's no question subliminals have become big business. In Santa Rosa, California, John Blackstone for Eye in America. From NBC News, this is Today with Bryant Gumbel and Katie Curran. Here's NBC's George Lewis. The developer of this video game, Endorphin, says it is designed to be mesmerizing. Every great entertainment experience is mesmerizing. Endorphin is indeed quite mesmerizing. But there's something more. Mixed under the music are subliminal, uplifting messages. Here's the game with the music turned down a bit. All is well. Is well. Is well. Expect the best. I am at peace. Why did you decide to include these messages in the game? Why would someone put vitamin C in orange juice? Why would someone put vitamin A and D in milk to make it better, to make it a wholesome, healthy, uplifting experience? For today, George Lewis, NBC News, Los Angeles.